Okay, any time for a second look at the uh, BCS electric conversion. Lots of progress has been made, mostly on this cradle assembly that bolts on, sort of surrounding the motor, attaches to the, the ears and the uh, beard, as I'm calling it, underneath the motor that are part of the adapter plate. And so the weight of the batteries and the controller and everything hangs from there and uh, sort of just surrounds the motor. But the motor is cantilevered off on its own. So this cradle, which has a couple of trays for batteries that are they're still incomplete in that they need a, a latch mechanism to come up the front and grab a battery. But if I throw a, a dummy in one side and a real battery in the other, see that they fit quite nicely and uh, they'll just need a, a latch to tie them down and then uh, the original BCS bumper is back on it. I pull the batteries out of the cradle. Most of today I spent putting sheet metal on the underside. Can't see much that way. So the bottom of the cradle is all tidied up and then I spent a fair bit of time screwing around with kind of airflow control so that this, um, this is uh, rubber, this surround and it's held in place with plates that are riveted here, here, here and a really irksome Painting the butt one down there. And then similar for this one. Move so that the battery, or sorry, not the battery, the motor comes in through the rear and these two will uh, seal around it, managing the airflow so that air will always be uh, aspired intake over the brushes through the housing expelled out of the fan here, but then the airflow will be uh, further managed. I'll put it on with the controller and the other bracket, and then you'll get a better idea. All right, so there's the cradle mounted around the motor. So it's primarily hanging off of a pair of bolts here. I actually have to, I ordered some higher grade bolts for those. Haven't gone to get them yet. Um, and you can see how the rubber fits in and seals around the back here. And one of my measures is off by a little bit. I'm gonna have to make a, maybe an aluminum piece that'll come and pick this up and seal it so that the rubber would end up covering over that uh, air intake to the brush holder. So the idea is that it will suck air in only through the front. So I'm gonna cover this front hole with a um, screen so that it doesn't suck up bits of grass or whatever. And then the intake is all around the, uh, on four sides where the four brushes are. It sucks air in, in fact you can you can see one here if I peel this back. You can see a brush and the commutator and uh, part of the part of the armature there. So that's where it's sucking air in and then the air is sucked through the armature and the field winding and then expelled by a centrifugal fan here. And then all of that air is gonna be propelled forward and out the front because I want it to cool the underside of the controller as well. So the controller is mounted onto this handy scrap of aluminum diamond plate that I had kicking around. And if I can get it to register properly in its holes, it actually does fit nicely here. And so the wiring will be these will run down to 
battery uh, armature connections. The field connections are, are small. They're like uh, even 14 gauge is apparently adequate. I checked the math. I'll probably run 12 just for the sake of it, but the field is uh, low current because it's a, a separately excited motor. So field current is dramatically lower. So this thing, um, the these two battery inputs aren't wired yet, but they will run to, into positive into the fuel fuse holder, which also has a, an ammeter shunt and a voltmeter display. So when I make a cover for all this, I'm gonna have to put a window here so that I can read those because that's the only instrumentation that I'm gonna bother with, but it'll give me instantaneous voltage and uh, and current. So the, so the the battery wires will come down and feed, uh, on the one hand, feed positive through the contactor, battery positive into the controller, and on the other side, the batteries will just run straight into battery negative at the controller, and I have a whole lot of control wiring and so forth still to do, but, and then this whole thing needs a cover so that the air that's being expelled by the fan down here out of the motor will then be forced to run around all of this and then out through a front outlet so that it will cool this aluminum plate and in turn cool the controller and protect everything so that nothing will be in any danger unless I screw up on programming the controller or somehow overload it. I'll bolt it on after, but here's how a battery for some reason this battery oh there we go so battery runs there it'll come to its SB connector slack and then the same thing on the other side battery in the tray plug into its battery connector It'll all get tidied up a bit, but generally looking pretty great. And uh, lots of little wrinkles still to work out, but very compact. Uh, I can't really see how I would pack it any tighter. And it all fits nicely with the uh, original bumper. It's hardly any bigger than the uh, Honda motor that was on there before and it should be um it should be pretty trouble free although the honda motor is a hard thing to compare to it'd be better if i was replacing some lousy briggs and stratton motor and then i could actually say it's going to be more reliable but uh hard to beat a honda gx motor so it will uh it'll be a lot less stinky than the honda motor and dramatically more amazing Thanks for watching. Oh, look, we do have an audience. Hey, Goose, say hi to everyone.